Hey gypsies, welcome back to part two of my Dollar Tree haul. You'll be seeing this on Sunday morning if I have anything to say about it. So let me go ahead and get started. I don't know how much stuff I have here, but um, yeah, I had to stop the other one because I had a little much there. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in. Um, I went ahead and grabbed these for my husband. He saves change a lot. So I don't know how hard these are to wrap coins in, uh, but you get 36 here, so I went ahead and just grabbed one so he can let me know, um, <coughs> hold on, sorry about that, so he can let me know how good they are, and if he likes them, I will continue to buy them, and that way he can roll his own, we don't have to do the coin star, and I'm going to make him roll them up anyway, because there's a national coin shortage with it, which is kind of wild, I don't know, um, I don't know what's the cause of it or anything, but... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make him roll up his coins because they need them. They need them. So, yeah. So, anyway, I grabbed these right here. These are the um, decorative mesh. I grabbed these colors here to do my fall wreath in. So, I got one, two, three, four. I thought I got six, but apparently only five. Unless there's one in, a, in another bag over here. So, this color is gorgeous. It has like... Um, it's, wait a minute, let me lay some of it down. <laughs> it's the bright, gorgeous orange, and it has like gold, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, gold, gold going through it. <laughs> so that, those are pretty, I got, I was thinking I got six because somebody said you needed to have six. So yeah, so yeah. Um, I grabbed these, oh, these are gorgeous, okay? So I have, like my friend Patty is sending me the um, black ones and then the ones with the gemstones. And so I was looking, I had glanced over and saw these bad boys and I'm like, oh, I had not even seen anybody haul these. So I'm gonna go ahead and try them on for you. I absolutely love them. I love anything with a flare and I feel like this would go really cute with my outfit on today. So what do you think? First of all, let me get these off. And of course, that is still stuck on there. That is a pet peeve. I hate when that happens. But what you gonna do? Go Dollar Tree, if you're listening, quit doing that. Just quit it. Okay, so these are like the cat eye. I don't think they're quite as cat eye as like the black and white ones were, but I am digging those shades. I love them. I love them. So, yeah. So cute though, right? For a buck, come on. I'm never gonna pay more than a buck for shades. Ever. Well, never say never. They say never say never, right? So this is another one of the owls I got. I got two different ones. So if you remember on yesterday's haul, I hauled an owl and here's another one. And I'll have different little clusters of fall time cuteness sitting around my house and so I can have an owl in each cluster so that's adorable look at the button on his belly he's cute his beak's a little crooked but hey whose beak's not a little crooked you know whose beak's not a little crooked and then I grabbed this for my husband fruit stripes I mean really for the whole family everybody they all dig some gum, let me just say. I still am stuck on my watermelon gum, but they, any kind of gum, they're, they're all for it. <coughs> okay. I grabbed these. I have no idea why, guys. So, if you have any uses for these, let me know, because I have no idea. Okay, I know some of you will say put them in the tall vase, which I do have one. I might stick them down in, but they are just so cool. They're, it's like, they're stems are like velvety. I don't know if you can even make that out, but the stems are very velvety and the flower, and they're, they're so long, like, and like, they're just so pretty. Look at them. I, I love those colors. This is the only two colors they had, but I did go to another store after that and I saw that they had a different color and I'm like, should I get it? And I'm like, no, you shouldn't. So anyway, a really tall vase would look really cute or like a, one of those wicker things, you know, but I mean, I don't, I guess they'll be okay in the tall vase that I have. If they'll fit, I will go ahead and stick them down in there. If you guys have bought these though, or have any different ideas for them, let me know. I'm just kind of curious, like, I just couldn't resist them because they were so unique. And I love that orange and blue together too, so. 
Okay, looks like I have a book. Yes. Can't remember which one it is, so how exciting. Um, oh, first of all, let me grab these playing cards. I found some playing cards for my son. Um, we have Aliante Casino and Hotel. These are all Las Vegas style cards, and they're all, I think, Las Vegas hotels and stuff like that, possibly. This is Planet Hollywood? Wait a minute. This is, I did not, okay, hold it. Oh, yeah, Planet Holly. I, I was thinking, it was Hard Rock Cafe that I was looking for, which I think my friend Patty uh, had found found the set for me. So, anyway, wait a minute, where did we go? Planet Hollywood. I didn't know if I had already got him that or not. And then this one is Grand Lodge Casino. So, he's going to have one of each, that's for sure. But he's okay with having more than one because he says they're cool. And then here's the book I got. It says bestseller on the front, which that always gets me. It says, The Woman Who Stole My Life, a novel. So, it says, Deeply Hilarious and Unexpectedly Deep. Um, let's see here. A well-crafted novel with engaging characters and a gripping plot. I mean, I got that, that um, new bookshelf in my living room and anytime that I see books especially bestsellers I'm gonna grab it I mean if I if it even piques my curiosity just a little yeah it's gonna be it's gonna I'm gonna fill that book up I mean that bookshelf so it's gonna be a good thing okay what else we got what else do we have let's see how many bags do we have over here um let me let me show you this really quick like um i grabbed this it was actually i had already checked out and i looked over to the front of the store i got all of this stuff when i was with <coughs> when i was with my daughter shopping and Kristen when we had went thrifting and stuff so i glanced over and i saw this and i'm like ah put this in your order so look at that that's so cute is it not I mean, it's the truck, whatever color you want to paint it. Every color's in now. Like, with the pumpkins in the back, it's just adorable. So, I had to grab that. And that one thing that I got um, that said Wicked and had the, the broom and the moon that broke, I have not seen another one of those since. So, I'm like, oh, I messed up on that one. Um, crab, or crab Orchard. <laughs> Old Orchard, I say that because there's a town close to me called Crab Orchard. Um, Old Orchard Healthy Balance White Grape and Peach Juice. So, Jack will love this. So, I went ahead and grabbed it. And I hope this, yeah, that was another thing. I forgot in the buggy so my daughter had to pay for. Which I need to send her money. <laughs> we send money back and forth to each other all the time. For stuff like that. Um, I grabbed some Chex Mix. This is original. Just to have snacky snackies at the house. And then this is cheddar, I believe, but I can't get it out of the bag. Come on. Yeah, cheddar. Is it cheddar? Yeah. What is that little creature? Um, it says unlock quest, unlock multiplayer. Oh, it must be a game. I don't know about the game, but yeah, there's little figures on the back. So anyway, Chex Mix always goes over in my house. And last but not least, I got something to torture everybody in the house with. Cry babies. These are Crybaby Extra Sour Bubble Gum. So, I love to watch somebody eat one of these, okay? Because they try to be brave. They try. They try. But they can't. They can't. They end up shivering, shaking, you know, all that crazy stuff. But anyway, Crybaby Extra Sour. And this is a four ounce bag. And there's all kinds of different colors in there. If you can see, like I see green, purple, red. <coughs> Okay, there's that. There's that bag. Okay. I'll try to squish every single checks in those bags. I think I'm down to one bag, guys. Hold on one second. Okay, yeah, down to one bag. Um, let's see what we got. It better be a good one, right? Okay, so I got some stuff. Well, I think I might have hauled these already. I can't remember. Um, these are the cutest. Here's how they would look on your wall if you chose to put them on your wall. Totally going to. I'm totally going to. 
Um, I'm going to put them down close to the floor, I think. Just, I don't know if I am or not. I just don't know. I might let Jack put these in her room. They're just so cute. So, they are, they, they're a little big for friend mail, especially that first one. These, on the other hand, wouldn't be that bad. But, I just love those birds. Look at the birds. Look at their wings and stuff. Their wings are all the cool, the coolest. Um, the wings are the coolest different little patterns. Yeah. So, so cute. So, so cute. And then I got this little clip-on book light. I got that for my son because he says he likes to sit on the front porch and read at night. And I think the front porch light wasn't working or something so I grabbed this for him anyway I was thinking at nighttime sitting out with a porch light on those moths and things are going to drive somebody crazy right they wouldn't me for sure and then I found this candle I had not seen what is this like I had not seen like this anywhere like it was just sitting by it's lonesome I doubt if it smells I can't really tell because my whole car smells like cinnamon, but, which I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. It has a cute little mesh bow. This would be so cute to put in a little gift basket for somebody. I have no idea where it came from. There was no more. There was just this one lone pumpkin, and I grabbed it. I grabbed it, so. Another book, guys. Um, this is called 100% by Karen Romano Young. Brilliant and irresistible. Here's the front, so cute. Some days, Tink felt like magic was happening inside her, like she was really growing up into something better, brighter. But when it was just her, she sometimes felt beautiful. She liked herself, alone. She was a sugar cube, settled with firm edges and strong corners. I don't know what none of that means right now. Like, I did buy this for a specific reason. Like, I'm not sure what it was. For one thing, look at this front cover, guys. Look at this front cover. It's like not... I wrap around. I didn't notice that. Anyway, like, that's kind of weird. Like, I don't know. I think it's like a young adult book. I don't know. I'm going to keep it, though, because that's just how I roll. I grabbed a couple of books to read to Jack. Um, I got this one. She's not much on books, guys. She can't sit still long enough to get through, like, two pages. So, I mean, I thought maybe these might be a little better. This one's Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And it's actually, um... You sing it, like, as you read it, and it's, there's not a ton of words. So, and the pictures are brilliant and gorgeous and bright and colorful. So, boom. And then I got the ants go marching one by one. The ants go marching one by one. Yeah. Look how colorful. So cute. So, she's going to love that. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see. Grabbed one more of these hand sanitizers. As long as it's not made in Mexico, we're doing good. This one's China. I got a tube of crazy glue because this is, I haven't seen crazy glue in a while. I always use super glue for my nails, um, but crazy glue with a precision tip, if you can see, yeah. So, all purpose, it says. And then last but not least, I grabbed these for my husband. It's the Andes Mints. This is a 2.75 ounce bag. There's probably about 10 of those mints in there. So, he loves those. He's always... He loves mints in general like that. So, like peppermint patty, stuff like that. He likes those. So, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, I'm going to take pictures of everything. And then you'll be seeing this on Sunday. So, anyway, i got plans for the day. I'll be going to Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Family Dollar. Looking for Halloween, fall, all kinds of good decorations. So, I will see you back. I just want to remind you guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hopefully, we're down to about 200 subscribers in order to do that um, three winner beauty giveaway. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Fantabulous. You definitely want to be able to enter that. So, make sure to subscribe, guys. And everybody, have a great Sunday and have a great day in general. Bye!